How about number six, Tennessee, Neyland Stadium. Thoughts on that oh, one? Golly, Mike, they're number one, man. Have you <laughs> have you been to Neyland? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, and this is considering. I mean, hell, they shit, were Mike, they're twelfth. They're twelfth in the last yeah. decade. But again, they're I, what is it four? Yeah, fourth in the last two years. So they're, that's a I tough know. one to gauge. It is tough. It is tough, and and it's just because I've been to some of the loudest games in that stadium that has ever had, and I have definitely seen the impact that, you know, 100,000 fans there in England can have. Uh, the atmosphere and everything. Man, I, I am so biased. Man, I could just – I know I'm oozing orange here, but I got to have my balls a little higher than this. Just because you're thinking about the last few seasons. You know, how many right. SEC losses did they have in England last year? Zero. Exactly. So, a lot of that had to do with home – I think of the Florida game in particular. I think of the Alabama game. I mean, that was a violent place. Uh, the Ole Miss game we went to a few years ago, obviously we didn't throw anything on the field, but I could see why they were, man, because it was crazy, <laughs> man. It was a, it was just an electric atmosphere, and and uh, the fans almost won that game until they lost it, you know, so – uh, I've got well, Tennessee higher, man. I know. Let, let me ask you the ultimate question then, because we can't move everybody up here. Yeah. South Carolina or Tennessee? Who's higher? Hmm. You got to pick one. Well, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee. Okay. Tennessee. But I, maybe I'd have Auburn a little bit lower just right now. Just you okay. know. I don't know. Maybe. What do what, what you got now? Right, now, now got I got me. number five, Texas A&M. I, well, see, big, I would have. I, they're I, elite. I, I know. I know. But you're, you're everybody, 12th man. I mean, I could put that on my stadium. You know, I could put that in South Carolina Stadium. I could. <laughs> it, 12th man hasn't been the 12th man in a while, brother. I yeah. mean, it hasn't. Since the, the, the Alabama win, you know, I I've, I've can't name a game. Well, I guess that's not fair because there has been some good games, but and, and the fans L show they up. They beat LSU I, in their last one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was trying to think. I don't know. I, I it's just I don't know. You're right, brother. That is a crazy place to play. That is a very uh, the thing about it is it's just it's typically packed. You know, the, there's right. there's no empty seats, and, and if an SEC team's in there, pretty much it's going to be sold out. Um, that that makes it tough to play but man i don't know i'd have them just maybe a smidge i'd have them under tennessee and south carolina i would okay. i would right now i trust you i trust you all right number four on my list shane the swamp florida <laughs> the swamp is a terrible place to play i mean it is <laughs> terrible it is it is the nineties. It was unbearable. You know yep. what I'm saying? You did not want to go to, I knew people that would go to that game wearing their game jerseys with a Florida Jersey over top or a neutral shirt <laughs> over top, get to their spot, take their shirt off, put it back on to walk back to their vehicles, you know, because not only was just the environment crazy, but the fans were violent. The fans were loud. Florida Gators at the swamp itself, uh, definitely a tough place to play. But this is a team, Mike, right now you've got too high on your list just because of where they're at. You know, they're the, the last game I thought of – I mean, seriously. I, did, Utah. I, I mean, man, Utah looks shook. I know. I, yeah. Well, I mean, you could pinpoint one or two games for each one of them <laughs> or the home field. You know, I'm just thinking – as as a as a overall, Florida is one of those that I told you earlier is a sleeping giant that could definitely be a number one or two on this list. It's just going into this season, I wouldn't have them as high as Texas A and M, Tennessee, or South Carolina right now. 